All right, what's up guys, this is Thornton. I got my buddy Dylan with me. Uh, this is sadly gonna be the last time you're ever gonna see this red blower on this car. It got sold this week to a fella on the internet and he is gonna be running on his car. And I have a gold blower, I'll throw a picture of it right here. From my buddy Shane Horning, he ported it for a different customer. Customer ended up saying it was too aggressive for his liking. It is now going on my car because I want the most aggressive. We're trying to make some power this fall. So we're going to, uh, he shipped it out yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and pull this blower off today. I've got these valve covers from Vast Performance that are going on. They're Cerakoted, Daytona Gray, I think. Uh, came with all new hardware, new gaskets. The whole reason I'm doing this is because the car has an oil leak somewhere and I'm not really sure. I think it's from this valve cover. It's either from here or it's either from this oil filter gasket that's back here. It's like down, connects to the motor. Um, so this ended up me putting a different blower on the car, but whatever. So, plan is to go run in 110 indexes this fall. So the car needs to run a 1099 for that to work. So we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. All right. So we got a little update for you. So the uh, red blower is now off. We've got uh covered up with some towels. And if you notice that valve cover, it's probably a little too much light on it. That valve cover looks a little different than that valve cover. So we pulled the stock one off and slapped this. This is an OEM cover that's just been um, Cerakoted. It's Daytona Gray. It's got new gaskets, new hardware. They look great, fit great, obviously, because they're OEM. Um, just, just need to get them all torqued back down. That bolt right there was not any fun. The rest of it was pretty smooth sailing. Pulling the blower was smooth sailing. Um, other than that, now we just start waiting on parts. I am going to go ahead and do a water pump. PCV, thermostat, uh, a couple miscellaneous gaskets, but other than that, should be uh, should be about it. All right, guys. So I'm just getting some parts painted out here. I've got some some self etching primer going on the little tube that connects to the bypass valve, and this I'm gonna paint those both uh, metallic silver. I'm trying something new here. This is the uh, the coil pack like harness covers. Um, I figured I'd try something else. So the same fellow that does the coating for the valve covers also is starting to try um, these covers in Cerakote. So I figured I'd try them in uh, just some primer and some spray paint, see how long it lasts. And if they mess up, then I'll just order some from him. Cerakote is super durable paint. Think of it like spray paint or powder coat that you can put on anything. Super durable though, it doesn't really scratch. So that's why I'm excited about the valve cover. So they should stay very clean. It has the same product or same consistency of a ceramic coat as well so it's a super hard hard coating um but we're gonna try this on there see how long it lasts um i also did i'll walk inside and show you but got these i'll show you what color those will be in a minute those are going on the new gold blower i just want to try something different this is all completely unnecessary but <clears throat> i'm waiting on parts so i might as well go ahead and spend some time so i don't even think i updated you i've got the uh I've got both sides of the valve covers on. They look fantastic. And another thing, I also like just the raw harness on there. But I've got... I painted the uh, the coils. Just flat black to see how they look. I wanted to get the APR uh, gray ones, but no one has them in stock. So I figured, what the hell? Let's paint these and see how they look. And I think they came out fairly good. Um, I also started disassembling the blower yesterday. I've got the coolers out of it, <coughs> all the electrical stuff, bypass valve off, waiting to swap the snout when I get the other one in, just because that supercharger oil stinks. I've got four sets of, or four coolers sitting in here soaking. This is the second round of them soaking in some, some grease lightning. This morning I came, I let them soak overnight, and this morning I came out here and the, uh, the water was black. So that's good. That means we're getting clean. Um, I'm waiting on parts. The blower should be here two or three days. Um, parts from FCP should be here in two, three days. I just wanted to go ahead and get the blower off and inspect everything to make sure I wasn't gonna run into something where I knew like crap, I need to order some more parts. So everything checks out so far. I haven't pulled a whole lot off. I thought I could do this all without pulling the bumper off and putting it in service mode, but doing the water pump think i'm gonna have to and i really don't want to do that but that's a good thing because while it's off i've been wanting to do this for a while this headlight has stopped working completely 
I've swapped the modules and it still doesn't work. So I'm assuming it's just the headlight and it's not just the bulb. It's everything. There's no DRL that cuts on. There's no turn signal, no nothing. The only thing that cuts on is like the, the side marker light that when you turn, it lights up the, that way and it stays on all the time. So that's wrong. So this works out good because this is the intake side. Driver's side still works good. I want to put the intake right here with no headlight. So that's going to work good. Um, another thing, I want to delete these hard hoses. I think I'm going to do that while they're out too. Um, Merck Racing says they've dropped about 5 to 10 degrees of uh, IETs by replacing these with rubber hose instead of having metal hose there. I, I didn't want to do the gold at first, but then I was like, let's run it for a little bit. See if I like it. If not, I'll pull it off the paint. Uh, I'm kind of known as the red blower guy, so I might be known as the gold blower guy. So hopefully we go fast with it. If not, I'm gonna be kind of pissed. But dude, looking at, comparing comparing the two ports, there is there's a lot of material moved on this red blower. It's the most aggressive he said he possibly can go. So we we're, we're ready to make some make some steam. So I'll uh, update you fellas in a few days, I guess. I'm probably gonna be done working on this thing for the weekend, but just got some parts to paint. Other than that, we're good to go. All right, just giving you a little update. I've got the coil packs back in and the coil pack bracket that I painted. It is back on. Um, all the this side of the valve cover is is torqued back down in sequence. I'm gonna pop the uh, torque sequence of this valve cover in this video somewhere. Um, Marshall Rhodes, I think, the fellow that owns Vash, he sent me the thing, so big shout out to him. Make sure we're doing everything right. I still gotta torque all these down and put the brackets and coil packs back on. But I think that looks pretty cool and unique. Not many people, I, I literally haven't seen a single person that's done this yet, so pretty sweet. So I'm gonna get the other side done. Probably not today, I'm just, it's a Sunday. I'm just kinda screwing around out here. But yep, the FCP order should be here in two days. So we're gonna start tearing all this crap apart. So update you when all that comes all in. right guys the order from scp just showed up there's the pcv um here's the water pump i'm actually not sure if i ordered the correct one um this nipple i think is a b8 and a half thing and i think our cars go off of a b8 platform or whatever so if worse comes worse i'll just cap that uh, i got a new pcv connection tube all the proper gaskets also got a new thermostat so this is a, I'll show you the brands of everything I bought. This is a Moto Red. I'm pretty sure this is one of the cheapest options that they had on there. This is a Vianney Automotive. And this is, I'm pretty sure, OEM Audi stuff. So it's a Hankst filter or a Hankst PCV, but it's stamped Audi as well. So I need to get cracking on that. Not going to do it tonight, but I don't know if I already showed that. I think I did though. Black, all that. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like the raw harness. Just doing some like nice loom and doing it that way but i'm not really sure i've already painted it but i just gonna leave it but i thought it looked pretty cool if that's something you're interested in that's how it looks with no little red piece so there's your little update for today i'm just showing you i got all the parts in ready to get them on all right guys surprise there's the color of the blower uh, i'm just kidding uh it's actually gonna be painted this color so shane sent me that one and it uh it was already painted for a previous customer like i said earlier um, I'm just gonna give it a light scuff and shoot it with that other color. So now we got that color. We got that one This is another same blower. This is for a customer of mine named Melvin um, So on the scale of everything if that blower is a hundred percent ported I'd give this one like a 95% port job and this one's like a 50% port job. So I mean We're getting spicy with that one. So we uh, uh I'm ready to swap these snouts get it painted get it on the car I think it uh that color should go real well with hang on let's put this next to it that's that's the color scheme we got going there i think that looks pretty good so grays and blacks keeping it simple getting away from the uh oh getting away from the red so i'm about to get swapping these snouts real quick the only reason i'm swapping the snout is because i don't want to have to pull this grip tech off and then we have to re-put it on this snout that one down there oh, i'm sorry it's real jerky but got a lot of energy i'm excited i'm interested to see how bad this oil is when it comes out and it's gonna stink like crap but whatever let's get it to our party
All right, guys, as you saw in the last little time lapse, I popped the uh, popped the snout off the red one, pulled the road pack out with it. Uh, yeah, a little bit of methanol been ran through there. Uh, maybe all, right. all the gears still look good. It's like no teeth are all chewed up, but uh, very important here. This is called anaerobic gasket maker. You have to lay a nice bead of this all the way around. Make sure the surface is clean. I'm gonna clean it one more time. And also make sure that surface is clean. Good news is Shane literally just put this snout on the, back on this blower. So it has, it had fresh, uh, where I put the other snout? There it is right there. It had fresh gasket maker on it. So it wasn't hard to come off. This one popped right off. When I tried to pop this one off, the whole rotor pack wanted to come with it. Um, hey, where's the little light? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of going to be, yeah, there we go. There was, uh, definitely some meth ran through that one, but we, uh, I'm probably not going to show the port on this one, um, just out of, uh, respect of other people in the game. This is one of the spiciest ports I think I've seen, uh, in the, here, I'll show you a little, a little something, something. That's just the intake runners, but I'm going to keep all this part here. Oh this part here a secret uh, i've got pictures of it. i know what it looks like so it's not like i'm scared to pull this out um it is so freaking hot where i live so we out here busting this out after work try to get this thing painted tonight maybe i don't know i gotta make sure i tape it up real good but i think the the color we're gonna go with is gonna look fantastic i gotta do i have a gasket in that no i gotta find that gasket but i'm just gonna swap this over and then start sanding and taping stuff up all right, guys, that's what it should look like after the anaerobic gasket maker's on. Uh, so now we're going to put it on the uh, gold blower and then spin the, the actual pulley part to get it to line up in this piece here. There it is all installed. Way to know you did a pretty good job. See that little red line there? That's the gasket pushing together and forming a good seal. So now that officially has the 57 millimeter Cryptek pulley on there. Spins freely still. Good to go. Now we just got to start taping up and figuring out how I want to I don't want to do this. All right, so I got a coat of self-etching primer on the blower now. I told you I wasn't going to keep the gold, so now wait for this to dry, then we'll throw the actual color of uh, dark gray on. All right, so there's three coats of that paint on there. I've already got all the tape taped off or pulled off. You still can see where it was copper in some places, but don't worry, that's all going to be hidden. That's where the uh, bypass valve goes. Um, but shoot. It looked pretty good. I had this uh, little plate over here painted that same gray and decided to go ahead and shoot it black. So it'll give a little contrast. All right, guys. So just checking in. I've started the uh, started to work on the maintenance part of it. So I've got the uh, thermostat out. I am attempting to do this without putting this in service mode. I've got the pulley off. I've got all the bolts out the pump. And that also means I didn't drain the coolant. And I know once you pull that PCV, it dumps cooling everywhere so i've just been sucking it out and i'm hoping i can just keep sucking it with the vacuum instead of having to get up under and drain it am i lazy absolutely um but it's about ready it's about ready to come off and very important when you're pulling this tube back i'm not even gonna pull it off right in there under this little bin right next to this connection there is a t25 do not forget or you will break this learn that from fcp euro fcp euros video so shout out I didn't break mine yet. So the valves on this car don't look as good as I would like. I'm not going to do a carbon cleaning right now. But I thought methanol would clean them off. It didn't. Also, I've got these off. No one told me all the videos I watched of this, they came off easily. These were very difficult to get off. And I think it's because the injector O-ring was very tight. I mean, it had a good seal. I mean, I can tell someone's been in here, not recently, because I've owned the car for the past 30,000 miles, but prior to me, they were in there frequently because there was some some pretty good hack jobs going on. I mean, I saw, if you saw my Instagram story tonight, it was a uh, zip tie in place of like a uh, metal clamp. Will it work? Yeah, did it work? Yeah, as soon as I cut it, it shattered into a million pieces. So it was a matter of time before it broke. I'm going to sit the new thermostat in there. This is the old one. It's a... Uh, it honestly looks good. I'd probably send it, but since it's out and I've already bought a new one, I might as well slap it in there. So the new one did come with a, uh, oh, where'd I put it? It did come with a gasket, so that's it's very good. This gasket right here is kind of dilapidated. 
I'm gonna get some parts plugged up, plugged in. This is not like a task for someone that doesn't really know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm how you say, a little, little stupid. But do not attempt to do this job if you've like never worked on a vehicle in your life. I mean, I have, I'm not a mechanic by no means, but I have a little bit of mechanical knowledge. It's not a light job. I mean, a lot of crap got to come off to get to these little parts. So I'm going to give you an update once uh, once I get some more parts. And this PCV is going to be the most difficult part. I'm really not trying to break any coolant tubes while it's off. So, All right, guys. I got another little update for you. As you can see, PCV is out. Ended up just pulling all the hoses out with it. Uh, this is the old one. This is the new one. Um, now I'm going to get cleaning in here. Just kind of clean it all up. Hold on. Let me get some light for you. We have light. I mean, you can see I've already vacuumed it once, but I just want to get all the uh, all the crud out of here. And if anyone tells you this job, I know I just said it five minutes earlier in this video, it's very difficult. Yes, it's difficult, but people, hold on. People overcomplicate this job on the internet so much. Ooh, you're going to break this coolant tube. Dude, take the extra five seconds and be careful and it just wiggle it this way and this way and it slides right out just don't disconnect it from back there just move it out of your way slide the new thing on put it back where it's supposed to be just be careful it's not difficult don't overcomplicate stuff everybody overcomplicates these engines so much so yeah let's set new one in let's get everything bolted on oh since the last time i talked to you let's get some more light on the situation new thermostats in and the new water pump is in new gaskets not new hardware we used hardware didn't come with hardware so not a big deal. Call me crazy. I polish paint for a living. I want to polish this. You don't see it, but <laughs> I think it'd be cool. Just give it a little testing out, but I'm going to clean all this gunk. Just get everything nice clean. Get the maintenance surface clean. I do have new gaskets for everything. I bought one O-ring. No clue where that goes. So I have to figure that out. I have to look at the part number. I bought it for a reason. I also have to pull this oil filter out cap and housing off i have the uh, gasket for that because i think that's leaking as well so that's probably gonna be the next thing to come off yeah it is because of the pcb kind of gets in the way i'm going to yank that off hopefully i don't dump oil all over the place when i do this so we're gonna see all right guys i got the uh the oracle gasket com replaced it uh it looks like this you no know, that's the old one um i've got all the gasket surf mating surfaces cleaned i'm about ready to start slapping it together um but yeah i'm gonna give you an update once i get the the new pcv in and after that it's got to start reconnecting like injectors put the uh intake runner flats back on and it's it's about ready to get bolted back up the plan is i want to drive it today um to do be a trail 45 already so if i drive it by like nine tonight i'll be pretty happy so all right so since i've last updated you a good bit has happened um i did get the new pcv in I also got the uh, intake runners back on, the new green gaskets here, and the new orange ones up underneath it. Um, I've got this new PCV hose, little connection hose here. Um, got everything cleaned up pretty well. Uh, also, in the meantime, I have fully assembled the new supercharger. So let's go ahead and yank these off so you can see what's going on. So snout is on. I think you already saw that. And this plate's on. Uh, got the bypass valve in all the map sensors are in got the uh, apr noodle uh excuse me this is the custom noodle bolted on uh, the coolers are pushed in i uh, gotta gotta bolt the tube back on crossover tube oh speaking of crossover tube velocity ap is a new company not new company but they have a new product and it's the uh it's pretty much it's deleting the connection tube so it's just going to be two billet pieces that sit here and then um, you make your own crossover tube pretty much, or you send it to a divorce system, or you send it to like a, a double pump system. So me and Audi C7 owners, Cameron, we've been brainstorming what we want to do. So we got something cool coming for you guys. Uh, Anything else has happened? I don't think so. Oh, in the meantime, if you saw my story, my best buddy, Will, he got engaged a couple months ago. His fiance loved my car. She liked the gas mileage. She liked how it was like peppy and stuff. We went two days ago about an hour and away and she bought a 2012 prestige a6 three liter car it is moonlight blue i think with the tan interior tan interior is not my favorite but she loves it the car is awesome it looks good as well taken care of um bad thing is it is stage one already and previous owner didn't know but the passenger motor mount is broken 
So if you don't know from my experience, broke motor mounts lead to really bad shit. And that's why there's headers on this car. So we're going to get that fixed ASAP. And the good news is I have a, uh, is this the good one? Yeah, this is a not brand new, but good as new OEM motor mount. This is one that's broke. This came out of the uh, driver's side. This came out of the passenger, so I'd replace my passenger. This one's new. So we're going to slap this on her car tomorrow, I think. I might do like a little vlog portion of that, throw it in this video. But doing motor mounts on this car is not a fun task. Oh, another thing. I've got the, uh, the quicker fuel line kit. I've got this connected back on here. I was, uh, I broke this piece. So I had to make another one. This doesn't include the kit. Yeah, I had to make that. He, he has a couple of these. I sent him like 10. Um, so hit him up if you need one for your for your quicker kit. But next thing I want to address is just getting all of this wiring back here. Just address. It just kind of looks crappy. I'd like to go ahead and get the blower set on here tonight. The reason I'm waiting to put everything back together. Crap, I don't even know where I put it. Basically, the methanol plate. This thing. It's got two bungs, so you can run a dual dual John there. It's got one there and then one here. Um, I was just using a block off and then had one. So now I'm going to run a dual nozzle. I'm running two 600cc nozzles. It's like eight gallons per minute. But it's going to be two, so it's going to be 1,200cc of methanol running through it. Um, so I'm waiting on that to come in, and I don't want to put the blower on until that goes on. It's just a lot easier to hook all that stuff up outside the car than it is trying to do it with no room in the car but the biggest the biggest problem i had over this whole thing was the oil gasket the old tube gasket thing there it wasn't really no fun there's no room to really mess with it all this stuff everyone talks about how this is so difficult this stuff was very simple it, i mean it's not for your average diy person but if you have a little bit of mechanical knowledge it's not rocket science I still have a little bit of stuff to do, so I don't want to break my knocking on wood, but I haven't broken anything that I didn't, nothing broke. I'm very, very happy with that. I didn't break any of the little coolant pipes that everyone says is so brittle in the south. Um, all these went back on good. This, that's all the uh, old gaskets there, and there's two spare coolers that I have. But, oh, I also need to finish putting all this back together and torquing all these uh, valve cover bolts down. But, I mean, it's very close. I'm also going to go ahead and clean the air filter tonight. Look how nasty this thing is. That is a uh, thing's gotten some abuse. So I'm going to clean that. I've got some kit here to help clean it. But other than that, it's going to be a couple more days. I'm waiting on stuff to come from snow. Not a huge deal. Good news is all the hard work's done. I said I got like 10% more stuff to do. But I'm very excited to see what this car run with this blower on here. And it should it should run a lot better with all new parts. One thing I wish I'd have done and I didn't when I did this is a carbon cleaning. I was expecting the methanol to clean the car or clean the valves a lot better than it did. They're not the worst I've seen, but they're also not in the greatest shape. So when it comes back off, I'm probably going to end up doing that. It's just something I didn't really prepare for this time and I should have. But I'll give you an update here in a couple of days. All right, well, guys, it's been a couple of days and we had an accident and that's why it's been a couple of days. So the little PCB pipe that connects to the valve covers, it snapped in half. So I ordered another one. This is a B&E automotive, like replica one. Hopefully it's going to work. Also, as you can see, got some stuff in from snow. We have uh, decided to switch to a dual nozzle set up for the fall. The uh, light quality is kind of bad. But we also went to two 600cc injectors. So that's 1,200cc worth of methanol. Um, being sprayed right at the uh, right after the throttle body so the plate goes um, plate goes there and then throttle body is in front of the plate but today should be the last day of working on this thing it should run if everything goes to plan tomorrow's Labor Day so I might work on it then instead it's Sunday I'm just not really sure I've been working on that turd for the uh for the last couple of days all right so we got the blower on everything is buttoned up i'm going to put the cooling system back together now i've got the methanol halfway plumbed i just need to tuck everything out the way um belts back on uh <laughs> messing with the k motor we uh gotta bleed the cooling system then then crank it up and see if it works so all right so a little update i've got the blower back off i had it all on earlier uh, I went to start pouring cooling in it, never even cranked it, and where did I just throw it? This piece. 
this is a piece of this coolant pipe that goes right something something somewhere with that well this broke so i gotta replace that i ain't very happy about that all right guys here's another little update i got the new coolant crossover pipe in from fcp they hooked it up this past week they overnighted me this and they overnighted me that pcv little y tube back there here's the old tube and that is where it is broke as you can see that probably would not seal very very tight so new one's all bolted down the thing is a booger and a half to do um now it should crank tonight i'm not going inside till it cranks unless i break something else so my girl is bringing me some crispy cream donuts later and we're gonna knock it out all right another little update um we got everything halfway buttoned up now all that's left is to put the supercharger back on and button all that stuff up i've got all this bolted back up well you can see here the pipes in blah 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 everything else we're good to go just need to slide that thing on there tighten it up prime the system prime the fuel system fill the rest of the coolant another thing i checked the coolant this time last time i got everything put back together about ready to start it the last thing i needed to do was put the coolant reservoir in and fill it with coolant and that was my mistake because as soon as i started filling it with coolant is when it started pouring out right there at the thermostat so i was a little smarter this time instead of blowing pulling the blower off for the third time this job we're going to we tested it I went ahead and put like two gallons of water in here just to see what uh what it would do no leaks so far no leaks so that's good i have absolutely destroyed my hands on this i don't know if this pick it up in camera but getting to these bolts down here on this side terrible <laughs> awful job and it would be a lot easier if you remove this i'm going to be completely honest i have no idea what that is and i didn't want to take it off I ran the part number and it said something to do with power steering and I was not trying to bleed this power steering system. So I just left it alone and worked around it. Probably should have taken it off, but whatever. It's all back together. Ready to stick the blower back on for the second time now and get everything back together. All right, hopefully this is the last time it has sat on here. Everything is loose. I just slapped it on. I still got to put bolts in, plug everything up, wire methanol or plumb methanol stuff, plumb vacuum line stuff. Plug map sensors, reconnect cooling system, finish draining the cooling system. Should be a go. Dang, that old charger look good. Excuse me. I'm going to call it a thorny charger. We got the uh, dual nozzle set up. This is two uh, 600cc snow methanol nozzles. Oh, you probably aren't going to be able to see this. No, not really. There's two, though. You can see them. Um, 1,200cc's. Been told by a good friend to spray at 90 or 100% methanol, not 50 50. So we're going to see how fast we can eat these coolers up. Let's do it. All right, guys, it has been a hot minute. So ran into a ton of issues on the car. Looks like it's working. Um, first issue was the coolant pipe was cracked. Second issue was the uh, fuel injector o rings were messed up. Had to replace those. This is taking the car or taking the blower on and off and on and off. Sorry, weird angle. Um, so now had everything buttoned up, no leaks. Woohoo. Want to go drive the car? No check engine lights, no nothing. Excuse me. Drove it the first time, slow as crap. Intake runner flaps were stuck, so I had to pull the blower back off, fix those. Then I fixed the intake runner flaps, codes went away, drove it again, car's still slow. So it's either bypass valve or it's either one of the vacuum lines running to the intake runners is messed up. So now I'm going to tear it apart for the, I think I've had the blower off and on eight times now in two weeks trying to figure this out. And redo all the vacuum lines, just replace them all. Go down to Advanced Auto, buy all new vacuum tubing, all new T-lines or T-fittings, blah, blah, blah. Make it work. Well, watch you ready car's been sitting here for a freaking week first right up no check engine lights woohoo nothing everything runs phenomenal i ain't got a damn clue what's going on with it so we're about to pull it back in the shop and then take the blower back off i'm going to see if i can beat my five minute and like 20 second time of pulling the blower off i'm gonna see if i can get a sub five minute time here thing scrapes in my driveway See if I can get the blower off in five minutes or less than five minutes. I'm getting pretty freaking good at it after taking it off eight freaking times in the past two weeks. So I'll update you here in a little bit. All right, guys. So I pulled the blower back off. Determined that 
the line, the little vacuum line that comes from here that feeds to this little valve and then to this rail and then out down through here. It was cracked at this connection where it goes from little to big. This is a new line that I have just kind of thrown together through some advanced auto crap. So I wish I had taken some pictures of the one that broke, but I had to cut it all up to just get some measurements and stuff. Hoping this is going to clear. This is the only way I can make this work. This is a fuel line. This is not vacuum line. It had a weird big connection here. Um, hoping this is going to hold. I'm assuming it's going to hold. It's in there good. There's no no loose ends. This should be the last and final crap. So throw it back together. See what happens. Go ahead and anticipate bringing it back off. But I've gotten pretty good at taking it off. This should fix it though. I mean, the car was making a little boost, but it was bleeding it off. Vacuum leak explains that. It's only making like nine pounds. It should be making at least 24, 25 upwards from there. So we're gonna find out. All right, it's gonna be kind of short because phone's about to die, but car's about together. Running real good. Like a little kid in a candy store right now. Um, That's what it looked like outside. Car run phenomenal. Literally broken vacuum tube will cause you not to go very fast, so. I'm not gonna end the video here. We're gonna get some some rips on it. Just need to see somebody film for me. I don't wanna do it all sketchy, but. Oh, also, let me shut this door. I haven't showed these on the channel yet. Copped a new set of wheels for this, John. Mm. These are 18 by eights, Adohan rep crap. Paid like 300 bucks for all four wheels. And these are Nitto NT555 G2s in a two. Where's the thing at? Sorry, I'm just kind of rolling something around. 255, 45, 18. A lot lighter than the uh, big 21s I had and a lot lighter than the factory wheels. So hope that'll help me drop the 60 foot. Tires are pretty sticky. Oh, I'm so happy this car runs. You have no idea. I was fighting and fighting some gremlins and they finally, they finally worked. So she, I had a mechanic far from it, but Everything's looking tight. Everything's painted. Everything's Cerakote. It looks great. Ultra Charger looking fantastic. Dual nozzle. Ooh, when I was just ripping, I didn't even have the methanol cut on. That's, got, that's a spicy unit. I just haven't driven fast crap in a while. I've been driving the truck. And I also picked up... Ooh, I didn't even show you. Picked up a Miata last week. It's a 90, 1990 uh, NA Miata 1.6 stock card. Bought it from a guy that lived out of a camper. Got, it, the, it's got an aftermarket top on it, it leaks, but got some eBay seats in it, look ugly. Dude had the dash all apart, messed it all up, but got a steel on it, car runs phenomenal. Clean title car, 150,000 miles. I could sell it tomorrow and double my money, so I'm not too happy. I mean, I'm not too mad about it. It's a very clean, straight car. I mean, I've found like one dent in the whole thing. Looks phenomenal. It, it does need paint. Hood, trash, deck lid trash. The roof's different color, but phone's about to die. Update you in a little bit. So it is 100% buttoned up. Methanol lines are halfway tucked. Covers are back on. I'm not gonna put this cover back on, and I'm not gonna put that cover back there back on. So that is as buttoned up as this gonna get. Um, I've already drove it once. I'm gonna make a couple more hits. Not hits, but just drive it around, but man. That looks so All right, guys, I lied. I'm going to leave all the all the fun driving stuff for a different video. I'm going to end this here. This has already been a super long video. It's taking me a ton of time start to finish to do this. Also, recording everything doesn't speed the process up by any means. But since the last couple clips, I have been putting some miles on the car. We also got it paint corrected up at my work the other day. I think it looks fantastic. Everything's ceramic coated now. Um, it's just been sitting in my yard, so it's covered with leaves, and it's kind of dirty. But... It is, it's back together, it runs good. I think I have a surprise for you guys this weekend. I know I have two new parts coming for the car. Um, might have a big surprise though. Uh, I'll save that for another video because it's not set in stone yet. But the video, oh, we got music playing. Let me just grab these off, off my shelf here real quick. Um, this is just one side, but finally got the order in from Velocity AP. These are the coolant pipes. This is what's gonna be a sneak peek in the new video or the next video. Um, and then we also have a fuel pump from Quicker. And as you know, this car already has a high pressure fuel pump in it. So we are doing a low pressure pump in this car. So that's going to be real fun. Um, it's a Hellcat pump, 525 Walboro pump. 
but i'm gonna end the video off here thank you guys so much for watching drop a comment uh like subscribe if you haven't um thank you